So in today's Minecraft Star Let's Play, we head over to the spawner and actually make it an actual working spawner. We get tons of XP and then we head over back to the enchantment room and re-enchant all of the armor that we currently have to make some OP armor. It's a pretty action-packed video, so make sure you watch until the end. And thank you so much for last episode reaching a thousand likes. Let's just try it again and see if we can reach it in today's episode. So there you go, guys. If you're watching my videos like this, make sure to turn it this way and click that subscribe button and go back to watching the video. I'd really appreciate that, guys. Thank you so much for the amazing support. And here's this random funny video. Welcome back everyone to another episode of the Minecraft Survival Let's Play. I want to say thank you so much for the amazing support everyone has been leaving on this series. Last episode, I asked you guys if we could reach a thousand likes and you guys were able to destroy that and actually surpass a thousand likes, which blew my mind away because like I said, that's never been done on this channel ever before and you guys were able to make that happen. So thank you so much to all of you who are showing your support on this series. And by the way, guys, tomorrow we have a new content coming to the channel. It's going to be a modded UHC and all I have to say, it's going to be pretty crazy. So make sure you tune in for that at 7 p.m. Eastern time as you guys can tell right now on us We have a few books. Okay, I need to grab. Oh, they're the emeralds perfect We have a few emeralds We need to rush over to our villager now The reason why I'm saying this is because our villager over here will allow us to get fortune 3 on our pickaxe Someone mentioned this in the comment sections and I said that's a freaking amazing idea So let's go ahead give him what he wants. There we go and Fortune 2. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I forgot. I also put an uh, an anvil in here. So that is the one thing I need to do is actually put Fortune 2 on the pick. So now we have officially Fortune 3. We have Fortune 3 on here. Now, also, I do have a looting 2 book from one of the treasures that we found in the ocean. I'm going to actually put that on here. We do need a looting 2, and you guys will ask, why do we need looting 2? Well, if you know, in the last episode, we found a spawner. And with that spawner, uh, you guys guessed it, I actually worked on making it functional. So we have an XP farm, which is absolutely fantastic. And I've done some work on the lighthouse, too. And I'll show you guys what exactly we're able to accomplish with that. Oh, yeah, perfect. I already have everything I need here to get ourselves a horse. You guys probably didn't see that coming we're gonna get ourselves a horse as well it's about time we need one and I worked on the walls a little bit as you guys can tell I've decorated it and I've made it a little bit also like a defensive system because as you walk into here you can see you do take some damage um, so any mobs that try to walk up to this will take some damage which I think is pretty good um, now I saw a few horses around here those look really cool and maybe just maybe we can make ourselves some diamond or not diamond horse armor but maybe we could make um, some gold horse armor that one's not too good. What about this one? Nope, nothing good there. This one seems about decent. Okay, yes, okay, perfect. He's officially our horse now. Awesome. Oh, he's really slow. <laughs> he's really slow, though. I was hoping for a faster one. I want to show you guys the lighthouse. I've done a few changes, and there's a lot, actually, structural changes that I've done here. As you guys can tell, there are a few bridges here. One here and a little dock over there. This bridge is a very simple-looking bridge. Nothing too crazy. Like I said, this whole place is going to be transformed and looking a lot better. But I know you guys were going crazy in the comment sections with me saying Dorite. Okay, I get it. I mispronounced it. I'm sorry. And because of that, I figured, like, that would be... Be cursed for the world so i took it all down and i kept it very simple i think this looks so so much better okay we have officially just concrete um all the way up to the top no no nothing added to it um maybe we'll add some vines too and i also added another layer of red concrete on the bottom of the lighthouse other than that the inside is not really anything different we're gonna have to work on that eventually and then once you go down here we have ourselves a little dock which i think looks fantastic we have our shipwreck, which is right over there. Maybe we could do something with that. Who knows? All right, so just let me know in the comment sections what you think about the updated lighthouse. I think it looks a lot better, in my opinion. Now I want to show you guys the spawner. There is a lot of work that was done on the spawner already, and you guys are going to see in just a second what I mean by that. All right, so as you guys can tell, I've done a few little things. Now, the first main thing is I've added just a lot of cobblestone here to make a path and try to avoid any other mobs sneaking their way down here. Lit it up with torches, and yeah, it's a very simple 
simple walk down here. Although once we design it a little bit more, it'll look a lot better, but check it out. So down here is where we have our area where we get all the XP. But if we go right over here, check it out, guys, we have our spawner just hanging out over here. Now I took the initiative and wanted to make everything functional right away. So you guys didn't have to see me do that. It does take a lot of time, but essentially it's a nine by nine. So if you want to make one yourself, it's very simple. Okay, but check it out. So I'll show you guys once we jump down here, I'm going to just kill this guy. Oh, <laughs> he just went right up into the trap. Now you guys are wondering how are they flying up to the top like that? Well, it's very simple. Oh, he probably fell on the other side. You put two uh, signs over here. Then you just put a stone block at the bottom base. As you can tell, I have soul sand there. Well, you have to go into the nether, get some soul sand. But first you put a stone block, whatever block you want, and you get kelp. You have to get a lot of kelp and place it all the way to the top. Once you do that, you go back down, break the kelp from the bottom, and then put soul sand, and then it essentially turns it into a water source. So check it out. As I walk in here, I literally fly up to the top like that. And then it's about seven blocks going this way, and then 23 blocks so that drop us down to where that final skeleton is, and you have to put a sign. So that is it. It's very simple. I think this has been done uh, many times in the past. Fall. It would just go all the way down. We're not going to take that much damage wow that was actually really close and we break this here and we're just gonna walk out and essentially hopper with a chest connected to it um and yeah that's that's about it you just place that over there oh wait i just messed that up you want to place one slab on the hopper and then one slab right over there so that way when they come you just you just break them you just you just attack them like that and everything falls in here so as you can tell it's it's functional it's working really well we're gonna break those really quick and we're gonna go close this off uh, oh, okay, we need a few more blocks here. Then perfect, close them off like that. That's about enough. This is going to be our um, spawner room where we get as much XP as possible. As you guys can tell, look, all of the skeletons just go right in there and then they fly all the way up and they drop down here and it's pretty nice. It works really well. Now, the one thing I wanna show you guys is what I wanna work on in here and it's to actually make it look like it's into the wall, something that looks abandoned. And I think that would have a really cool theme to it. We're gonna let these skeletons continue to drop and then after that, we're gonna get as much XP and then update our armor enchants. We're actually gonna take some of this lapis. We have fortune three now. So check how much lapis we just got from all that. There's no way we just got a stack from all that. I know I had some lapis already on me, but that is crazy. <laughs> that is absolutely crazy. All right, let's grab some cobblestone just to close this up over here. Now in here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a lot of barrels, uh, which are they are literally missing. So we're gonna have to make some right now. Okay, perfect. So we got nine total barrels. That's all I need really for this design. Now check this out. I wanna break in, oh, whoa. I forgot that there's something up there. Um, Okay, we're just got to close that off like that. Perfect. Close that. Perfect. So we're gonna add some fences, some fence posts in here. And I think it'll look really cool. Guys, check out how many skeletons we're getting from this. Pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. And then I was also thinking of adding the lanterns just hanging from the ceiling. That to me looks really good already. So there we go. I think it adds a nice look to it. The next thing we wanna do is we also wanna to continue to add upon this and make it look a little bit overgrown. So the next thing is to add a little bit of an overhang of leaves coming down like this. Check that out. Okay, that looks good. Wait, where's the rest of it? There we go. So we're gonna have some random leaves kind of just growing out of here. And I think that would look really, really good. So we have some more slabs in here. Perfect. Let's just place the slabs like that. All right, it's coming to life. I think it's coming to life. You guys let me know in the comment sections your thoughts on this. Okay, that looks a lot better. Now it actually looks like it's a circular shape, which is what we wanted. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. In the ground here, we're really realistically just gonna be messing it up and making it look a little bit old, as old as possible. So like, we're just gonna keep going, adding some mossy stone around here. There is some of this that we don't want. We don't want any of that. We can keep some of this, but not all of it. And then we could just start placing it around as much as possible. And then in here, we're just gonna have chests of barrels. Um, eventually, we could potentially move another enchantment table in here. That could look very nice. So you guys in the comment sections can give me a heads up on what else I should add in here. But for now, it's up to the comment sections and you guys to just kind of give me your, your suggestions and ideas. So we'll do a few slabs there. Um, also, if you need to know this, you have to put slabs right across here so that no mobs uh, start spawning or you can just light it up as much as possible. So we'll just put a few leaves in there like this Perfect, that's looking a lot better put one over there Put some coming in from the top part right there 
That's looking really good so far. All right, so the next thing I want to do was actually grab the barrels. We're gonna grab the spruce stairs. And there are a few spots over here that I wanna add a barrel, especially from the outside. So we're gonna do something like this. And then we're gonna add our barrel just kind of hanging at the top here like that. That way, you kind of have a little bit more of a look around here. I like that. And then all we need to do left is just add a little bit of oak slabs if we need to around there. But that's a lot better. And then over here, you just keep messing around with it, guys. It's all it is. It's really just up to your own imagination and making it look a little bit beat up as, as much as possible. You can add even some stairs going in like this. And that reminds me, I want to add a little bit of a stair, a little bit, something looking like this. Check it out. That looks a lot better for an entrance. So as you walk down, it feels like it's overgrown and that's exactly what we were trying to go for. So let me know if you guys think it's looking pretty good. I'm also going to build up from the top a little bit here. All right, that's that's fair enough for now for me. So what we're going to do is we're going to add another little bit of uh, leaves coming in from here like this. Okay, that looks good right there. We'll have some in this corner like that and we'll even break in the wall a little bit over here and add some cobblestone. And then this one piece right here can be like a cobblestone wall if you want. Um, it really is, like I said, up to your imagination to mess up the walls a little bit. Um, same with this side, we're just gonna break it up a little bit and we're gonna add some random blocks in here. So let's go get some mossy stone like this, put some cobblestone in there and maybe a wall. So there you go, you can see it, it is all about your imagination like that. Oh, that's looking really good. Put some of that there, maybe put a fence post in there. But yeah, see, everything feels like it belongs in here. It feels all abandoned, which is perfect. And yeah, now we're just gonna go ahead and add some barrels in here, um, just randomly. Essentially, we wanna make it look like it's been abandoned. Um, that's the whole goal of it. So we'll add a few more, let's see. Let's add, we have to add a few out here. We only have one. Maybe we should add one more symmetrically to that. That looks really good, guys. And yeah, that's going to be it for what we're going to do with this room because we still have so much to do in today's episode. I want to go and fix our enchants. So what I'm going to do now is I'm literally going to sit here, AFK farm for as much as possible to get so much XP. Check it out, guys. All we have to do is hit them once and we already have 14 XP from nine. That is unreal. And look at all that. It just keeps coming in. And we can make so many bows. We can enchant ourselves a bow. We might as well do that when we go to our um, enchantment table. So yeah, I'm just going to sit here and I'm going to gather as much XP as possible. And then we're going to go do some enchants. And that will be the end of today's episode. All right, so we're back to the campsite. I feel like we haven't been to the campsite in a very, very long time. Uh, but yeah, hey, you know, you never know. We'll probably come back here. I think I want to just expand this whole area. So make sure you guys stay tuned. By the way, I want to give a quick shout out. Go make sure to follow me on Twitch. There's a link down below in the description. I think I'm going to be streaming on there more often. All right, here we go. Chest plate. And let's see what we got. Fire protection for and un we are doing fire protection for. I don't care what anyone tells me. And we got unbreaking three. That right there is a very good enchant. Let's see if we can get some like depth strider or something. Protection three, protection two. All right. Uh, let's see. Well, let's see what else we can get on here. Fire protection three. Okay, those are really good enchants so far. And let's see if we get anything on this. Unbreaking protection two. Hmm. All right. You know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put on these protection two three we only got protection three i was hoping to get a little bit more from that okay not too bad let's go make sure that's a full stack in there so i know usually people say blast protection and unbreaking all right we'll definitely take blast protection four wait blast protection unbreaking and respiratory three that is a really good enchant Okay, let's go ahead and add some more lapis to that and let's see anything here unbreaking and unbreaking we're back at 31 uh levels right now oh man i wish there was a little bit more to that is there oh let's try to bow let's see if we can get anything power three power three and power one that's really not that good but we'll just do power three power three unbreaking three flame and punch one that is not bad and then finally we're going to try the uh, the pants one more time and see if there's anything okay this would have been fire protection four which would have been absolutely perfect but for now we're just gonna do protection two on the the pants i think we got some really decent enchants back on us so we have blast protection unbreaking respiration uh resp ah, respiration three we also have unbreaking three fire protection four protection two and prop three so the bottom like the leggings and the boots can potentially be fixed again uh we did get power three this is actually very good uh and it has flames like does it shoot flames it does okay that's really good so we have a decent bow too 
All right, guys. Yeah, so that's going to conclude today's episode. I think we had a very, very successful episode today. So if you guys want to see more, make sure you guys go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe if you guys are new. And make sure you hit that notification bell. I'd really appreciate it. We're on the road for 100,000 subscribers. That is the goal for the channel. And let's see if we're going to reach that by the end of 2020. It would be pretty cool. And other than that, guys, tomorrow we're going to have a new video. It's going to be a, a pretty... I'm not going to try to give too much, but it's going to be a uh, essentially a modded UHC. So hopefully you guys enjoy that. But other guys, thanks again for watching. My name is Alex and peace out and stay foxy.